Okay, so there are a bunch of different things you may mean when you say you want to change your icons in your doc. Um, well, in this video, I'm going to talk about it and I will try to cover all the possible things you may mean by it. So feel free to jump around the chapters to find the topic you're most interested in. So let's just get started with this video right now. The very first thing that comes to my mind is basically changing which icons show up in the actual doc. That means that you may want to remove calendar, for example, from the control center and perhaps bring there something else there. Well, to remove any icon or any app from the doc, all you need to do is to right click on the icon and get to the options section. There you can see a bunch of different things, but one of them is called keep in doc. When this is checked, this means that this app will always stay there. Naturally, to remove it, all you need to do is to uncheck this option and it will no longer stay there. Side note, if you can't right click on the icon, that's because you don't have the secondary click set up. So on your MacBook, go to the settings or the system preferences and locate the trackpad section. The second option right there is the one called secondary click. Here you need to make sure that it's enabled and also you need to choose the method of accessing it. I have it at click or tap with two fingers, but you can also choose the bottom right or left corner to access and perform the secondary click. The other probably easier method to remove something from the dock is to simply grab any icon you want to remove and just drag it to the trash can. You then release it and when you do, the app disappears and gets removed from the dock. You should not worry, however, because the app will not be deleted from your Mac computer, it will only be removed from the dock. And speaking of dragging the icons around, that's exactly what you need to do in order to reorganize them. Because changing the MacBook dock may also refer to reorganization of these icons. To change the order, just grab any icon and move them around and change the order as I want. Also, if you wish to add any other or new icon to the dock, what you can do is to go to your launchpad, which is basically the place where all apps are located, and grab any app that's not yet part of the dock, right to it. You can technically add as many icons and apps to the dock as you want, but of course, it makes sense to keep it clean and organized. Then the completely different thing is customizing the actual dock. That's a different story. There are many different things you can change or customize in terms of your dock on the MacBook. You need to open up System Preferences at first, the Settings app of the MacOS. And there is an entire dedicated section for the dock and menu bar. And here are a few different things you may want to do or some changes you might want to perform. The first is the size. The size of the dock naturally depends on your preferences and it can be modified by sliding this slider across and changing the size accordingly. Or the next slider right next to it is for magnification which isn't anything really that useful, it mostly just provides a nice effect. I personally keep it turned off, but when you enable it, you can then slide through the different views and settings. The next thing is the actual position of the dock because by default, it's at the bottom, in my opinion, that's where it's supposed to be, but there are some people who wish to keep it on the side. So you can literally just move it to the right or left side of your screen with a click of a button. So that's the option as well. Also, I like to make my dock hidden from sight when I don't use it. The reason for it is that it simply takes up a lot of space on my screen and when I'm doing something else, I don't wanna constantly have it in my way. So that's why I have the option. Automatically hide and show the dock turned on and checked. That means that whenever I hover over the dock or just move my cursor to that area, the dock shows up. When I move away, the dock goes away too. And then the next tip I have for you is to keep the option. Minimize windows into application icons checked. That's kind of important because without it, the whole dock can get really big. Because if you just minimize some icon, you know, you click the yellow circle, the app will be minimized. But when this option isn't enabled, each minimized folder, for example, will be added as a new icon to the dock, and this takes up a lot of space. Then the toggle for show recent applications in dock is something I personally keep disabled because it separates your dock into two sections, and the new section on the right contains the recently used apps, which isn't really useful for me and just takes up a lot of space as well. So that would be basically everything what I wanted to say in this video. If you found it helpful, and if you indeed found some valuable information in this, I'd really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up on this video. For some similar content like this, make sure you are subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the future. Peace.